Hey guys, it's Awan Turtle, and today we're going to talk about the new card Gardevoir Sylveon that will be coming out in the Unbroken Bond set. Uh, so just quick shout out to Mama Kangaskhan who does have her own channel. Uh, link in the description uh, she kind of brought it to my attention uh, when we talked about Reshiram Charizard so thanks for that <clears throat> so to quickly go through the arts real quick um, I would say they're pretty good nothing great though and I would kind of rank them uh, ascending order of rarity so we kind of have that base art which is uh, pretty cool and then the full art in rainbow uh, rainbow rare which I would say uh, those are a little bit better I do think that special full art is the best in my opinion the where the actual art is um, still good but not nothing epic however I do like that yellow kind of shade that they have going on just adds a cool feel to the card so now to talk about the actual card a little bit so uh, Guardian the guard of our Sylveon does have 260 HP which is pretty good uh, it is a tag team of course and then for its first attack we have fairy song for one colorless energy and what it does is you can search up to two fairy energies from your deck and add it to any of your bench Pokemon so that bench Pokemon thing I think is very important and we'll get to that later for its next attack we have Kaleida storm which uh, for two fairy energy one colorless and does 150 damage with the cool added effect where you can basically move around your energy among any of your Pokemon uh, as you see fit. And then lastly for its GX attack we have Miracle Magical GX which um, it's kind of a weird name uh, but does 200 base damage uh, for three fairy energy and then if you have an additional three fairy energy it's very much a common theme these days uh, it has the additional effect of makes your opponent shuffle his entire hand into their deck so that part I feel like is really good however um, the fact that you have six energy at that point you're probably going to win anyway uh, so how do we see this deck fitting in um, I, so let's go back to fairy song where it has to attach to your bench Pokemon um, and I feel like that's very restrictive. Imagine if you have your opening hand, you only have one basic Pokemon and it's Gardevoir Sylveon. At that point, your, your attack won't do anything. So I feel like that kind of cripples this card right off the bat. Um, however, given how Kaleida Storm works, I feel like there's a lot of flexibility. Uh, if we consider that Jirachi uh, that can basically search up a lot of trainers, um, when you're moving around all the energy to, let's say, another Gardevoir on your bench, and then the the active guard of our tanks whatever attack your opponent can dish out and then basically you apply a max potion to it it doesn't have energy on it so it doesn't have to discard any and then you full heal it and you can kind of repeat that with the Jirachis as well um, so I feel like there's some potential here uh, however it does require a number of things so I feel like a good engine uh, might require at least two Gardevoir out there uh, and a Jirachi and again if you're stuck in your opening hand with just Gardevoir Sylveon um, you're kind of dead in the water in my opinion uh, so compared to the um, Zapdos Jirachi decks that are uh, very much in the meta right now I feel like this there is opportunity here however it's much less flexible uh, so there's there's my quick review of the card uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you did enjoy that hit that like button and today we're going to talk about the Team Rocket set from Wizards of the Coast um, back in year 2000 um, so so far we had base set then we followed up with jungle and fossil and at this point we've gone through most of the 150 Pokemon and it's like alright what are we gonna do for our next set uh, we kind of have to make a splash and I think Wizards was able to do that and they introduced the rocket set so these were kind of like team rockets Pokemon the evil organization not crazy about this all the Pokemon are very low HP. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a ding against Team Rocket or something. Uh, but we're going to go through the PSA collection of mine uh, for that Rocket set. So for starters, we have the Dark Algazam. So all the, when Pokemon evolved in the Rocket series, or the Rocket set, they turned dark. Um, so this is Dark Algazam. So all these cards are PSA 9 first edition. I'm pretty happy pretty happy uh, having completed this set and so this one specifically so again kind of about that low HP this guy it's stage two and only has 60 HP uh, which in today's standard is like completely absurd but even even back then that, that was like very low then we move on to dark Arbuck uh, one of the iconic rocket Pokemon given that Jesse had uh, Ekans which eventually evolved into Arbuck again 60 HP and then this one, I think this was the last card I obtained to complete this set. It was 
uh, wasn't crazy about how much I had to pay for this one. Uh, so Dark Blastoise, uh, again, only 70 HP for a Blastoise. I mean, base set, I think he had 100 HP. Um, and as far as like the, the attacks themselves, I feel like they're, none of them are that strong, uh, but I do really like that art. Um, they did a good job of making all the Pokemon seem like a little bit evil. And now here we have the, the biggest card in the set, which probably is not very surprising, is that Dark Charizard. Uh, so this card is very iconic in that this was the second Charizard ever printed. Uh, so this is the second Charizard you can get that first edition stamp on. Uh, and once again, again, I think the art was just great. Uh, it he kind of has that menacing look. Uh, it does feel like it, that one is Rockets Charizard's Dark Dragonite. And again, 70 HP for a Dragonite. Uh, so this is one of my favorite ones. And actually, I think, I feel like Doug Trio from base set kind of feels like a troll card where uh, like when you get that rare, it's like, oh, it's just a, a Doug Trio. Uh, but I do like this art. Um, Again, they look very evil, and they're just kind of like busting into someone's room, which I find hilarious. Um, and again, that's stage one for 50 HP. Uh, that was like, like from base set Charmander, Machop, and other ones had had 50 HP to start. Dark Golbat, I think this is another one that took me a while to obtain. I think there just might be a lot of foiling on there, so uh, getting a nine or an even or even a 10 will be is very difficult. All right, so we do have Dark Gyarados, 70 HP, and the card itself is not that strong. Um, this one, I'll, I'll be honest, like, the art is just okay. Alright, next we have Dark Hypno. Um, this one, I do like the art. Uh, when Hypno's the whole idea is like, he's hypnotizing you. Um, has a cool background, and he just, yeah, he looks evil. We have Dark Machamp. Again, first edition PSA 9. And unlike base set, not all the Machamps are first edition when it comes to Rocket. Dark Magneton. Um, so when it comes to like having the evil art, I think this one might be the best. Uh, when you just kind of look at that silhouette uh, shadow, and first maybe it's the shadow of a person, or maybe it's the Magneton plus something else. But then when you look at it, there's a the rocket emblem and like an evil looking smile. Uh, and I think this one is actually uh, very difficult to get in PSA 10. When you kind of look at that card, just see how much foil there is and how much surface there is to get scratched. Uh, very difficult to get a 10. Next, we have Dark Slowbro. Um, it's got that evil look again. Other than that, not much to say about this card. Moving on, we have Dark Vile Bloom. All right, so a Pokemon that is very iconic, but probably was never had a huge fan base is coughing and then subsequently wheezing. Uh, it's just a strange, strange Pokemon that kind of just coughs up gas at you. Very, uh, very strange, but um, yeah, nonetheless, very iconic card, especially for the Team Rocket set. Here comes Team Rocket. Um, the card itself is pretty underwhelming, but I think it's just cool in the fact that uh, I had Jesse and James on it for the Team Rocket set, and of course, it is the first hollow. And then the other one is Rocket Sneak Attack. All right, so one last thing about the Rocket set was the first set to introduce a secret rare where the number, uh, there was like, I think for, for Jungle, there was 64 cards. Uh, actually, no, for, so for Rocket, there's 82 cards, and then there's an 83rd card that wasn't, like if you had a checklist, maybe it wasn't listed. So it was like the first instance of the secret rare, and that was the Dark Raichu. So from that perspective, um, this card's really cool, and the Rockets have kind of introduced this idea. Uh, I honestly don't know if the Dark Raichu was harder to obtain. Um, I think at least in the circles that, uh, for, for the people that I collected with, uh, we had a Dark Raichu off the bat, and I don't even think we realized it was a secret rare until much later. Um, so there you have it, Dark Raichu, first secret rare in the Pokemon card series. So that's my collection of the um, Rocket Set All Hollow First Edition PSA 9. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like, like button. Uh, subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.